and welcome to the session in which we will discuss natural resources. Natural resources refer to assets that come from the earth and are consumed through either extraction or use. Examples of natural resources include oil, gas, minerals, timber, and other resources that can be either extracted or harvested for economic benefit. Now, unlike fixed assets, such as building or machinery, natural resources are depleted over time, which is the equivalent of depreciation, as they are physically removed or used up. In accounting, natural resources are initially recorded at cost on the balance sheet, just like fixed asset. Over time, the cost is depleted rather than depreciated, similar to depreciation, but the concept is called depre depletion. So depletion reflects the gradual usage of that natural resources over its productive life. So in this session, we'll explore how to account for natural resources, including how to calculate and record depletion so we can properly manage these unique assets on the financial statements. At the end of the session, we would look at a multiple choice question to reinforce this concept. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. So let's dive into depletion. Depletion, as I mentioned, the same thing as depreciation but we depreciate physical plant asset, tangible asset. Depletion is the process of allocating the cost of those natural resources over the periods it's consumed. Same exact concept of depreciation. The depletion expense is based on the amount of resources extracted during a particular period. Now I'm gonna show you slightly a different concept and I'll explain it when we get to it but usually what you extracted is what you can deplete and this is typically calculated using the units of production which we covered in, a, in another session. The best way to illustrate depletion is to look at an example. So we're going to be looking at an oil reserve. Let's assume we rented the land or we purchased the land. The initial cost was 1.2 million. There was oil reserve on that land and the oil reserve is estimated to be 400,000 barrels. Expected salvage value is zero. So the first thing we do is we establish an asset called an oil reserve by debiting the asset. And let's assume we paid cash, we credit cash. So an asset is created, cash went down. The next thing we do is we compute what we call a depletion rate, same thing as the depreciation per unit computation. We'll take the dollar amount minus any salvage value, which we don't have any, and we'll divide this by the number of units we are going to extract. In units of production, we say we produce. Same thing, we are producing here the barrels. So our depletion rate is $3 per barrel. So write this down. Let's assume we extracted the oil, and in the first year, we extracted 100,000 barrels of oil, of those 80,000 were sold. So how do we compute the depletion? Well, we took out 100,000 times $3, that's equal to 300,000. Now, the amount that we sold, we sold 80,000 barrels, 80,000 times three equal to 240. So the total oil extracted is worth 300,000. Of that 300,000, 240 was sold because we sold 80,000. What's left is 60,000. What's the, what's the remaining inventory? 60,000. 60, now, what entry do we make at the end of the year? We credit accumulated depletion oil reserve. Now, we can credit accumulated depletion oil reserve or we can credit the asset itself, oil reserve. So in your textbook, you might see that they credited the asset 
or they credited an account called accumulated depletion oil reserve. That's both acceptable, 300,000. Now, I can debit depletion expense for the full 300,000. And that's that. Why can I debit depletion expense? Although I did not sell it, there is an active market for oil. Because there's an active market, I assume I can sell it immediately at the current price, therefore I can expense it. Or I can expense what I sold, which is 240,000, and any remaining, I will keep it as oil inventory, which is an inventory as an asset. So what I'm showing you is, what you extracted is 300,000, you sold 240, exactly you extracted this 300 is 100,000 of barrels, of which you sold 80,000, this is 80,000 sold, it's expensed, and the remaining is 20,000, and each one of them is being cost at $3 per depletion rate. Now, what's going to happen at the end of the first year? At the end of the first year, you're going to have your oil reserve, the asset, is 1.2 million minus the accumulated depreciation. The asset on the book value is 900,000. So this is the asset book value, the oil reserve book value. And we have another asset called inventory at 60,000. So the balance sheet would show the oil inventory, 60,000, and the oil reserve under natural resources net of accumulated depreciation of 900. Thousand. Let's assume for year two we extracted 150,000 barrels and at this time we sold 120,000. So we have a remaining 30,000. Now we're not going to get into FIFO LIFO and all these you know complications because this is for, for a more advanced course. We, what we'll do is we take 150 times 3 and this will be accumulated depletion. 450,000, we are going to expense 120 times 3, what we sold, which is 360, and we'll have an oil inventory, an additional 90,000, an additional 90,000. Now on the balance sheet, our oil of inventory is 150, which is 60,000 from the first year, plus 90,000 of this year, total of 150. Now whether we sold the old ones first, it doesn't really matter, but we have 150 in total. The oil reserve is, it used to be 1.2 million initially. So far, we have accumulated depletion of 750. The book value of the oil reserve is 450. And for a financial accounting student, that's basically all what you need to know, all what you need to know. Once again, you could have expensed this uh, under certain circumstances if there's an active market and you can sell it immediately. If you cannot, you have to keep it as, a, as an inventory until it's sold to be part of the matching principles. You have some flexibility there, but we don't go into this, this complexity in a financial accounting course. What should you do? Now you want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, multiple choice, additional lectures. That's going to help you whether you are an accounting student, CPA exam candidate, CMA exam candidate. Invest in yourself. Good luck. Study hard. And of course,